In Lesson 3.4, students add cream of tartar and laundry detergent to red cabbage indicator and see that the color changes differently depending on which substance they add. And the question students investigate is, what can an indicator tell you about the substance that you add to it? Students will see that acids make the indicator turn reddish and bases make the indicator turn greenish. Students can conclude that the color that a substance turns an indicator is a characteristic property of that substance. Let's take a look. Students have already taken red cabbage leaves, torn them up, put them in a zip closing plastic bag and added water and squished them around until they've gotten this blue red cabbage indicator solution. They divide it evenly among three cups. The first thing they do is add some cream of tartar and swirl to see if they can get any change in color. And students will see that the cream of tartar turns the indicator a reddish color, sort of cranberry colored. Then they add some laundry detergent. And they see that laundry detergent, which is a base, changes the indicator toward green. And they use a control, which is a sample of red cabbage indicator that they don't put anything in. So it's obvious that different substances can turn a pH indicator different colors. And that actually is a characteristic property of the substance. So now that students have a sample with an acid and a sample with a base, they're going to see if they can neutralize those. So here we're adding some detergent to the sample that already had the cream of tartar and seeing what happens. So it looks like in order to get toward neutral, we have to add a little bit more detergent. We try that, and now it looks like it's gone a little bit past neutral, but it kind of eases its way back. So the kids get the idea that acids and bases are opposites. So here we're putting an acid, the cream of tartar, in the red cabbage indicator that already had a base. We're seeing if you add an acid to something that already had a base, can you get back toward neutral? and it looks like you can. So in each case, if you put the sort of chemical opposite in the solution, you can get back toward blue. Here's an animation that shows the color change and goes further to try to show how the indicator changes in order to make the color change. Here we're adding cream of tartar, an acid, and laundry detergent, a base, to two samples of indicator solution. And just like kids saw, the indicator with the acid will turn slightly reddish. The indicator with the base will turn greenish. And now let's take a look inside. Here, we're showing that if you add an acid to the indicator, the acid donates a proton to the indicator, changes the indicator shape, and causes the color change. In the other case, if you add a base to an indicator, a base is a proton acceptor. A proton leaves the indicator, changing the indicator shape and causing the color change to green. Now, if you take an indicator solution that already has an acid in it and add a base, the detergent, you'll get back to neutral. And in this case, if you take the indicator that already has a base in it and add an acid, you should also go back toward neutral. In the extend part of the activity, you can show students how pH is used in their everyday life when pool water is tested, usually for several different kinds of chemicals, in this case, the yellow on the left is a test for chlorine, but the sort of light reddish liquid on the right is a test of pH. And kids can see that the color is supposed to be somewhere between 7.2 and 7.6 on the pH scale. It looks like it's somewhere between 7.2 and 7.6. Also, the kid there with the stomach problem his stomach doesn't feel good because he's got like acid stomach. And there are a lot of products on the market that handle that by adding a base. Tums and Rolaids both have calcium carbonate, which is a base that can help neutralize the stomach acid. For the NGSS standard 5PS13, make observations and measurements to identify materials based on their properties. And 5PS14, conduct an investigation to determine whether the mixing of two or more substances results in a new substance. 
Lesson 3.4 supports both of those standards because it shows that one of the properties of a substance is the color that it turns a pH indicator. In other words, one property of a substance is whether it's an acid or a base. And also, if you add an acid or base to a pH indicator, you create a new substance in that you get a color change. The indicator has actually changed, which causes a different color. For the foundation boxes, science and engineering practices, planning and carrying out investigations, students add an acid and a base to equal amounts of red cabbage indicator and use a control to see the color change between them. For structure and properties of matter and chemical reactions, students see that the property of a substance is whether it's an acid or a base. They also see that adding an acid or base to an indicator causes a reaction and a color change. For cross-cutting concepts, cause and effect, students see that adding different substances to an indicator can cause a color change, and that's a way to identify the substance. So thanks for listening and watching, and good luck with the lesson.